firing up the grill. About to cook some quail for the very first time. Good evening, how's everybody doing? Hopefully everybody's been having a great productive day. So for those who've been following the channel, know that I harvest um, quail for the very first time. This was last week. Like I said, if you've been following the channel, you know I hatch my own, own quail out, raise them, and then I harvest them. And today will be the first time that I actually cook quail. Had quail before, bought it from the store, but this will be the first time uh, with me actually just putting it on the grill, smoking it. And then I'm gonna um, wrap it in some bacon once it's done, and then put it in the oven for a little bit. And we're gonna see how it's gonna turn out. All right, y'all, so we got the quail put onto the grill. Like I said, they've been marinating for a week in the freezer. I um, cleaned them up, and once I cleaned them up, I put them in the refrigerator for a day. Then I pulled them out, seasoned them up real good, and um, put my um, sauces and everything in there. And then I um, put them in my food saver and uh, vacuum sealed them and then put them in the freezer for a week. Then I thawed them out and here we are now. Like I said, coals on one side, that way I can um, smoke it rather than cook it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on and we're gonna go ahead and let them smoke for like 30 minutes. We're gonna do 15 minutes on one side and then 15 minutes on the other side. All right, y'all, so they already smoked for 15 minutes on one side. So we're gonna flip them over after we open it up and see how they looking. Like I said, I'm gonna do 15 minutes on one side and 15 minutes on the other side. These quail here, I know exactly um, what I fed them. I know I didn't use no chemicals, no antibiotics on them. Uh, they ate good, they had a good life. And I know this right here is gonna be way healthier um, than what I can get from the store. So we're gonna go ahead and let them smoke for another 15 minutes on this side right here. All right, y'all, so it's been 15 minutes on this side. Let's go ahead and take it off and Take a look at them, see how they're looking. Oh yeah, that's coming together nicely. I don't wanna dry them out too much because I like um, some moisture to be uh, left in it. I'm gonna do five minutes on each side. Like I said, this is my first time um, attempting this, so I wanna make sure it's done, but then I, don't, I wanna make sure they're not um, dried out too. All right, y'all, they are coming along nicely. They are looking pretty good. So I've got five more minutes on this side and then we're gonna take them in and go ahead and wrap them in bacon and um, stick them in the oven. All right, y'all, so what I got is um, a drip pan here and a little rack. And I wanna set the quail up here, but I'm gonna wrap it in the bacon and I don't want the quail to stick the, uh, to the rack. So got me some Crisco Grill Master. I'm gonna spray that down. All right, I'm gonna take the top off of my quail over here. Wow, those things are looking real good, y'all. They are looking nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them off, put them onto my rack, and then we're gonna go ahead and get them inside and get them wrapped in some bacon. Looking mighty good, y'all. Look at that. Y'all like how that look? Look at that. That is looking real good. Still got some juice in it. Like I said, got one more step, and then we'll go ahead and get them temped. All right, let's take this in, and I'll be right back with you. All right, y'all. So I wish y'all can smell how good they smell already. And now we're going to go ahead and do the next step. So what we have here is some uh, center cut original bacon, and I'm just going to take the bacon right here, and I'm gonna wrap the bacon around the quail and then we're gonna get them to cook in the oven and then the bacon to crisp up should, if I read the um, directions right, and the juice to drip down to the bottom because we don't want the juice to, um, for the um, quail and the bacon to be sitting in the juice. We wanted to um, crisp up, but the juice to drip off. So let's go ahead and get those wrapped up.
All right, y'all, so y'all see I got the quail completely wrapped in the bacon, and we're just going to uh, preheat the oven to uh, 350, 375, somewhere up in that area, and then we're going to let the bacon crisp up around it. And like I said, the juice will drip down into the tray. All right, let's let them crisp up. I ended up putting it on 400, y'all, so we're going to see how that's going to work. Sneak peek. I can hear that thing crisping up in there. Yeah, this is going to be some good eating right here. Also, we're going to go ahead and see what it's looking like. Oh, yeah, that is looking nice there, y'all. All right, y'all, and there you have it. Smoked quail wrapped in bacon. I hatched the quail, raised the quail, butchered the quail, and then cooked it. Let's see what this is going to taste like. Just want to cut it open so y'all can get a look at it. Look at that, y'all. Oh, wow. That's going to be good there. Let me try some. Oh, yeah. I like it. It's pretty good, y'all. Thumbs up.